Princess family, this is Victoria and my husband Aaron, and today we are going to do lasagna with a twist. What makes this lasagna unique is that we're going to be adding cauliflower to it instead of meat. You can still use meat if you want to, but what's great about this is that it's an easy way to sneak vegetables in. We think it tastes great and we really hope you're able to try it. To prepare the cauliflower, we take a whole head of cauliflower, cut it off at the large stems, and put it on this steamer basket. Steam it for 10 to maybe 15 minutes. A great way to tuck it is just to pierce it with a toothpick, and if it goes in with very little resistance, you know it's cooked, but it's not overcooked. This is the red sauce, my favorite red sauce. It's very, very simple. It's two cans of tomatoes. I prefer San Marzano tomatoes because they're nice and sweet and mild. A stick of unsalted butter, an onion cut in half, and then add a teaspoon of salt. Let it simmer for about an hour. Once it's done, taste it. You can always add more salt, of course, and then uh, either take it off heat or put it on low heat and it'll be ready for uh, serving in your lasagna in a little bit. And this beautiful cookware is actually from HEB, their own brand line called Kitchen and Table and we just love it. It's just a tier one cookware but not at a tier one pricing. Okay, so now I'm going to explain how we made this wonderful filling. It has that head of cauliflower that we steamed and a quick note on that, I mashed it with the potato masher but I didn't mash it like you would potato, mashed potatoes. Uh, I left some chunks because I like that for consistency, but you can mash it to your liking. And also in this, we have two cups of shredded mozzarella, a cup of finely shredded Parmesan cheese, 16 ounces of ricotta, and I also added some fresh herbs. Basil has some tarragon and chives, so I chopped those finely and mixed them in. And I also love to use whole nutmeg. You grind it up. I grind up about a quarter teaspoon just using a box grater, the same one we use to grate the cheese. And also added some uh, crushed red pepper flakes just to give it a little spice. And mix it up together really well. And it's going to be added to the lasagna in three layers. So here's a trick. Take your spatula and cut it into three sections just so you know about how much is going to go on each layer. That way you don't uh, give too much to one layer. So now we're going to assemble it to start. I'm going to take about a cup of sauce, line the bottom of the pan with it, and it's going to be about four full lasagna noodles. Keep in mind this is a whole box, 16 ounces of lasagna that we cooked in, of course, heavily salted water. I like to take about two minutes off of the cooking time because it's going to continue to cook in this sauce, so you don't need to have it fully cooked when you put it in here. And now. As I mentioned, we divided the filling into roughly thirds. We're going to start putting that on top of the noodles. As you can see, we have a one layer of noodles, sauce, and cheese on here. And now we're going to add another cup of sauce to this. It's important to have a good amount of sauce in here because I didn't cook the noodles 100% in the water and they're going to finish cooking in this sauce and cheese mix. Now that we've prepared our third and final layer of lasagna, I'm going to add some finely shredded Parmesan cheese. Okay, so it's ready to go in the oven. We covered it in tin foil, and it's going to go into a 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes. You can hear it bubbling in there. So now I'm going to carefully remove the foil, and you can see the cheesy cauliflower goodness. It is ready. 